Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Garage. So on today's episode we are going to be installing a Temgot uh, battery and doing a review on it. They were kind enough to send me a battery to do a review on and test out. So uh, let's jump in. Okay, so here is the uh, battery and this is how it came. I already actually opened it up, the package, um, as far as untaping it. I haven't unboxed everything at all. I just opened it up just to make sure that a couple boxes were in there. But when we first open this up, first thing you're going to see is the there's um, some installation instructions and then also a warranty policy and I assume just some more information on the battery itself. And then you're going to notice that it's very packed very well in this styrofoam here. Let me pull this off. And then this is what it's looking like inside the box. You'll see everything is packaged very nicely, um, nice and secure, super thick foam to protect the battery during shipping. And um, yeah, this is what it's like. So let's jump in and do the uh, review on the battery and get some measurements and everything. Okay, so here is the battery itself. And as you can see, this is a 48 volt, technically 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Um, here's the model and then just the specifications on it. Um, the maximum charge current, it says it's 100 amps. The maximum discharge current is 200 amps. And then the charging voltage, you could charge it between the 56.8 and 58.4 volts. And it, this is a lithium iron um, phosphate battery. So it is, it's one of the better batteries that are out there right now as far as lithium and everything goes. On here, you got your top terminals, you got your positive and negative terminals. Um, which screw in and then over here it looks like there's a port for a screen that does come with it and then let's go over to the other side here a couple carrying handles which is actually really nice you can lift it in and out and then on the back there is no branding on it this is a sealed unit battery so you cannot just pop this off you would have to take that off the top of it to get to the insides which I will not be doing that but I do have pictures and some specifications that I will be sharing with you on the battery here in a little bit but um, this is what it looks like so let's go ahead and get the measurements on the battery and then we will continue with the contents in the uh, box okay so the overall length of the battery is 19 and a half inches and then the without the handles and then the handles are about half an inch so total length this is probably about 20 and a half inches long including the handles the depth of the battery on the deepest part is 10 and a half inches deep and then the height of the battery it's sitting at about nine I don't know if it's at nine and a half inches tall so it's pretty standard for your 48 volt battery for golf carts and everything so that's good. So when we open the battery up, you're gonna notice that there are three foam pieces which protect the cells from bouncing around and hitting the cover. Battery also comes with a 200 amp JDB BMS. The battery itself comes with six gauge wires, which are pretty heavy duty. This also comes with a Bluetooth module so you can check the battery percentage on your phone via Bluetooth. Deal notice that all the wires are protected inside of the battery. So next we're actually going to move on to the cells of the battery and if you see the bus bars these are actually not welded they're actually bolted in and they do come with the bus bar reliefs and then there are also two temperature sensors on the battery which will show up on the screen when you are using it. Okay so here are the two boxes that actually came inside of the big box with the battery. I'm going to open this small one first and see what's in here. Here we go. Uh, it's got some screws, probably to, um, it just says countersink tapping screws. Here's the, uh, looks like some more mounting screws for the screen that comes with it. Here's the screws for the battery. Um, it's kind of nice. It actually comes with four screws. And when I look at that, it comes with two different sizes and then also caps for the screws. It comes with a couple mounting straps, so you can mount that. And then also, right here, 
here is a screen that comes with it that will plug into the side port of the battery so you can check your battery life and the temperature and all that other stuff. So that was in the first box. In this second box here, let's get it open here. Let's see what all comes in here. And in this second box here, this is a charger, which actually is really pretty heavy duty. It's got the leads that will plug into your negative and positive on your battery. Uh, this charger, it's a 56.8 volt charger, and it charges at 18 amps, which is pretty uh, par across the board. So that is uh, what comes in the other little box. And then it's also got just fill out a little instruction booklet for the charger and just like the user guide for the charger itself. So there we go. Okay, so on my golf cart, I have already removed the battery and I'm just putting this other battery, this new one, this Temgo. The company is Temgot, but I noticed on all the batteries it says Temgo. But I got this battery here and be putting it in. And then you could either use the provided straps that they did to strap this in. However, I'm just going to use a strap that I previously was using to get this all strapped in and held. So let me get this strapped up really quick. Here we go. Battery's not going anywhere. And then this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, battery terminals. And the way I have my battery set up, you can't really see it back in there, but I do have two um, main, main lugs, battery lugs going down there that all my wires are going to. And then I just have two wires that go directly to the battery here. So let me, uh, let me get those installed and the battery hooked up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so... Like I said, I have lugs down below, so I'm actually using the two shorter screws that came with this and getting them, putting them in. Use a negative and then a positive. And then these use just your standard 13 millimeter or half inch to tighten down. There we go. You don't want to super tighten them. You want to snug and tight, but not too tight. And then the thing that I like is that it does come with these little caps that you can put on, which will protect the battery if, if like a piece of metal or something touches that, it's going to help it so it doesn't ground out and short out. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this battery charger installed down here. So there was a little package and it came with three screws, little black ones, and they're the countersink screws. There's only three spots that you can put screws in on this charger. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. There we go. And then one thing that I forgot to do is I got to hook these leads up from this battery charger over onto the actual battery itself here so let me turn you guys and then I'm just gonna hook these up over there on the battery positive to positive negative to negative so let me get those hooked up so the next thing I want to do is I want to get this screen hooked up you're gonna see it comes with a cord it's actually a pretty long cord here so I'm going to run this under my cart and up to my dash, um, and then I'm actually going to go from the dash and just run this back up to the battery, and then we'll get it hooked up. Um, the way that you hook this up is it comes with this thing, and then you can't really see it, but on the side of the battery here, there's a little black cap, and underneath that cap is where you're going to be plugging in this, uh, this screen app. So it just plugs in, and then you take this nut here, and you tighten the nut, and then that is good to go. So let me get the wires ran and I'll be right back and show you the screen. Okay, so I have the cables and everything ran on the golf cart for the screen. 
I just went under there, went down the dash, and if you look under here, I got some wires that I just followed up and under the golf cart here, and then it plugged in right here. This is a mess. I got to clean up this wiring, but this is where this is plugged in, and then like I said, you just plug that in, and then this little neural part right here is actually a nut, so you'll plug that in, and then tighten this nut up. And then that's good to go. So it does come with hardware to mount this. I don't know how I'm going to mount this. I'll probably have to take the screen off the mount because I want it up more to angle. Instead of leaning back like that, I don't know if that's going to work. So I did not secure this to the dash yet. Um, I'm going to have to sit in the cart here after I get the seat on and decide if that's where I would want it or not. Um, but we will see. So let me... Uh, let me get the seat on and then I'll go turn on the screen and we will check that out. So actually where I think I want to mount this is actually going to be right here on the steering column. So I'm going to look for a small U-bolt that will be able to U-bolt in. And then I can put it right here on the steering column. That would be pretty cool if they had something like that that came from the factory. I could possibly even put it up a little bit higher. But that's actually a good spot for it because when I'm sitting here I can look over through my steering wheel and see the screen. So let me go ahead and push the button and see what happens. There we go. It's the first time I've ever turned it on, so here we go. So the first thing that we see is the screen here. The battery is at 54%. The current is zero because it's not charging at all. The voltage is 52.75, which is about right because it's a 51 volt battery, so it's going to come constantly run at that and then it's got the, um, the the temperature of the battery right there and some other stuff if you push this button it goes to page two and then you can see if it's got like the discharge oh that is touchscreen so you could turn it on the discharge whether that's like discharging on and off and then the charging you can put it on and off um, status it says lock or normal so got different statuses it tells the temperature so on um, both those temperatures that I showed in the last video it shows both the um, temperature gauges there which is pretty cool so you know if one side is hotter than the other and then page three this is each individual cell of the battery and then it just shows you where it's at for each individual cell so if your battery starts to die or it's not working you can come in here and look at each cell and see if one cell has died or not so i'm going to keep it right here um, i'm going to go plug in the battery charger and start charging it i want to see how much current this is telling me that the battery is putting out so let me uh go get that plugged in okay so i just got the battery charger plugged in and i'm gonna look up my seat and first thing that i notice i don't know if you guys can hear that or not the fan is running and it seems to be blowing the air down. It is blowing really good. So that's good that it is running. And then when we go back to the screen here, here we go. Now if you look at on that current, let's see it's so focus. But if you look at the current, this top box here, it's showing 16.7, 16.8. It's climbing, so it's going to charge up to 18 um, amps per hour for the charging. And then we'll just go through here. We're going to look at this. Also, it shows the battery cycles as well on the screen, which is pretty cool. So each time he charges, that cycle counter will count up. This claims to have, I think, 5,000 charge cycles. Um, that's what it says. So there we go. And then each cell just has their information as well. So let me get this cart. I'm going to let it charge overnight. And then, um, yeah, just here in a second, I'm going to take the golf cart for a ride. Um, usually I do about a 20-mile loop or so with my daughter each day. So i got to fabricate on my golf cart how I'm going to get my phone to hold up here so I can record the drive. And then I'm also going to put on a screen like a um, an odometer so you can see how many miles I've gone. And then um, after we go those 10 miles, We'll go ahead and check the voltage 
and see what it is after about halfway, which will give me reference. I know with my last battery, after I went halfway with it, I was usually getting about 25 miles on half a charge. So we'll see how this uh, holds up versus a different brand of battery. Okay, so one more feature is the app itself. So here's the app, and you just go to Temgo and you can download the app itself. Um, here's a bunch of different things. As you can see, it shows the time to charge on the upper left. It's got whether the charging and the discharge are on or off. You can turn those on or off. As we slide down a little bit, you'll see that it shows like the battery temperature and how hot it is. And then when you scroll down more, it lists each individual cell and uh, what each charge of each individual cell is like. You can do things like uh, turn the charger off if you click the charging button. This is a record over. So there we go. I push the charging button and it turned off. And then I'll push it again. It turns back on. And then you could actually disable your vehicle. So if you put the discharge off, then your vehicle is in like a locked status and you can't, nobody can take your battery or can take your golf cart with that off. So those are some features. Uh, like I said, the app is called Temgo app and that's what it looks like. And it's pretty slick. You can play around with it, but you always know how much charge you have on your battery with you. Okay, so we are back and it is the next day. It's actually a really gloomy day out here, but we're going to go for a ride and hopefully we don't get wet. And then, yep, there we go. Battery's fully charged. Everything's hooked up and good to go. So I'm going to get a little bit away from my house, a few miles, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the um, yeah, camera and start recording my route. Okay, so we got to our destination, which is the donut shop over here. And um, after that, which is about 10 miles, um, I, I'm doing two recordings so I can put the mileage up. It's like nine point something miles. But if you look, our battery percentage is at 80%. So 80% for 10 miles, if you multiply that by five, then you're looking at about, you know, 50 miles or so for the battery life. And that's with the upgraded motor and controller and everything so we uh yeah we did pretty good on the mileage on this so so far this battery is actually lasting really good so last time with the other battery when i was here it was sitting at about 75 percent um it was a little bit warmer so i do know that weather does factor into how long these batteries last but yeah there we are so um i'm gonna go ahead and get some donuts with my daughter and then i will see you in just a second here and do my exit video Okay, so we are back home here, and as you can see, um, about 25 miles, 26 miles is what we did around there. Um, battery is at 62%, so actually that is not bad at all, so um, that's pretty good. But there's that review of that battery. Um, it's actually a really good battery, so the company is called Temgot, T-E-M-G-O-T. -E um, the battery, the name on it is Temgo. Um, if you guys are interested in the battery, I have a link down below that's an affiliate link. So if you can click that, um, you can check out the batteries and, um, yeah, order one. I think it's pretty sweet. I love the screen that comes with it. The battery itself seems really nice. Um, it's just, yeah, it, it's a good battery. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching my video. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below and we'll check you all next time. Peace.